All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, so I'm just been out walking my dogs, Humphrey and Alfred. And, you know, when you're just out walking, enjoying the weather, it's a nice, sunny, beautiful day. Um, you just get to thinking about things. And so I wanted to quickly share with you guys just a perspective that I've been thinking about. And you know what? Let me uh, get up here and turn this curve and we're gonna try to get this sun in a little bit somewhere else so I'm not blinding you guys. But I want to share with you guys a perspective on a person, on an actor who I believe should be cast in way more movies. Okay, so unfortunately, my whole neighborhood is just against this perspective coming out. They don't want you to know about this underrated actor because there's people mowing and all this stuff going on outside. And that's why I'm saying my neighborhood's against it, but it's all gonna work out because now that I'm inside, I get to use props. So that's gonna be great. Recently, I re-watched Lord of the Rings, which shouldn't really be a surprise. I watched Lord of the Rings a lot. So I recently watched Lord of the Rings, and then I also recently just re-watched with my wife, Van Helsing. Now, a little bit about Van Helsing, okay? First off, it has Hugh Jackman in it. If it's gonna have Hugh Jackman in it, like the X-Men, Wolverine, I'm gonna watch it, right? Greatest Showman, right? But it also has Kate Beckinsale in it, like, you know, from the Underworlds, like Kate Beckinsale. So obviously I'm gonna watch it. But this is one of my favorite all-time portrayals of Dracula, vampires, and werewolves. For a movie coming out in 2004 with the cinema photography and the special effects, the action, the acting, it was legit. And the transformations of the werewolves and the vampires, legit. If you have not seen this movie, go watch it. If you have not seen this movie in a really long time, it is worth a rewatch. And when you're watching it, pay attention to Carl the Friar. He is so funny. He's like the comic relief, but he's also the one that makes the gadgets and he is a great character. And he is played by David Winham. Now David Winham is an Australian. He has five sisters, one brother. He hasn't always been into acting before he got into acting. In fact, he was a bingo caller, you know, like I-19 or G-49 or whatever the numbers are and how they line up. But in 2003, he was Carl the Friar and so funny. But he is also known as Boromir's brother, Faramir, protector of Gondor, son of the steward of Gondor. And he appears in Two Towers and Return of the King as Faramir. Now he is also in 300 and 300 Rise of the Empire and some other movies. But to see him as the funny, comedic, <laughs> friar Carl in Van Helsing in 2004, and then he was Faramir and in 2003, so a year before, he was Faramir in, in Two Towers. And to watch those back to back and see how a, um, a, a diverse actor he is and just being able to play this serious kind of brooding and upset because I lost my brother and noble and honorable like warrior swordsman but then like the <laughs> comic relief like he is an awesome actor and he deserves to be put in so many more movies that is my Preston perspective Put David Winham, who plays Carl and Faramir, put him in more movies. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this movie. Not this movie. This episode, this perspective. Is there a lesser known actor or actress that you feel is underrated? Drop it in the comments. I, I want to know who you also think in Hollywood is 
underrated and should be put in more movies. Honorable mention, Cole Hauser should be in more movies. Dylan McDermott should be in more movies. Okay, anyways, so let me know. Drop in the comments to give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.